right, guys, here is the makeup tray for the next week or so. Um, we're having family coming in from out of town, so it's a little bit lighter than normal. These are all new products to me. I didn't pull anything out of my makeup stash for the next couple of weeks because I'd just like to use the products that I've had in my most recent trays and kind of get a feel for all of the products that I've been trying out. So let's start over here. We have a blush from Pretty Vulgar. I have never tried their blushes or cosmetics, so I'm excited to try those. We have some new lip products. I plan to do a lip swatch video of the new CoverGirl lip products that recently came out. These are the Katie Cat glosses, the Melting Pout toppers. So we'll be checking those out. Kerry Washington Neutrogena recently launched um, an eye palette and a cheek palette. These launched on April 22nd. So I plan to do a dedicated review and swatch of these two palettes. So stay tuned for that. Um, Makeup Revolutions concealers have been all the rage lately and people are saying they're as good as Tarte Shape Tape. So I'm going to put that to the test and see how they compare to Tarte and ColourPop. Sephora recently launched this uh, new line of like a tinted sunscreen or like a BB cream. So since summer is coming, I want to start trying some lighter makeup and this is a good option because it has SPF in it. So we'll be giving this one a try in the next couple of weeks. Uh, I picked this Butter London Bronzer Clutch Up at TJ Maxx and it looks really interesting so I am very curious to see how this works as contour bronzer, perhaps a hint of shimmery bronzer and highlight so we'll check that out. CoverGirl launched some new brow products and they are repackaging all of their products to this like black and white packaging like this so I'm curious to try this see how it works on the brows. EOS launched some new aqua products. This is their aqua gloss and it's supposed to be color changing to change to and it's supposed to change to a pink depending on your lip chemistry. So right now it looks pretty as it is. So I'm curious to see what it changes to once it's applied to the lips. And Kevin Aquan recently launched this Neo Elixir Weightless Beauty Oil. So my skin has been bordering on dry on the skin and the areas that I've had acne breakouts in the past. So I'm curious to see how this beauty oil works for rehydrating my skin, especially in the chin and like cheek area. I'm still oily around the nose and center of the forehead. So we'll see how this works. It's a beautiful package. Let me take it out and show you real quick. So it looks like this, but then shaken up But then shaken up, you can kind of see like the little glitter particles floating around. So I hope this looks beautiful on the skin, as beautiful as it does in the bottle. This is really pretty. So here are all the products I'm going to be trying for the next couple of weeks. So stay tuned for my thoughts. Bye, guys.